Hello, it's Ricardo, and yes, I'm back in my ASP, the Inquisitive Badger. So I'm currently parked at Founders World, and I'm going to go on a Guardian site road trip, and this is part one. The engineer Ramta, who is the expert on Guardian technology within the Elite Universe, has now come out with a call to action, and this call to action is to go and find artifacts at the Guardian sites in the hope to building weapons that can combat the Thargoid threat. Well, I'm all for that, getting weapons to combat Thargoids, and the cinematic events that Frontier released have alluded to those weapons. The site in particular we're going to have a look at first off is HD63154. Now, this site is about a thousand light years away from the Founders system, and it's going to take me, in the old ASP, about 28 jumps. Now, can I ask you a favour to click that subscribe button? and that like button and then also look for that notification icon and ring that notification bell and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos like this on YouTube. So I'm not going to bore everyone with jumping across 28 systems in the old inquisitive badger my trusty asp. No, we're going to go straight there even though it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to get over there by fuel scooping and the like and we're going to see what we can find in system. So here we are. We're in system HD 63154. And you can see the old ASP has had a nice golden paint job. So let's go looking for this Guardian site. Lots of planets in system. And I've done you the courtesy of going through them all and researching each and every one of them. And I've come across this one, planet B3. Now, as you head towards the main planet, and you can see there's two coming off that. It'll pop up on your screen. Guardian Sight. Now, obviously, that's the one you want to go for. So, no dramas there. Head on towards it. But, you know, it's worthwhile getting some of that exploration data and upping your elite rank as well. Because, you know, there it is. Guardian Structure. As soon as you get close, it comes up on the screen and head on over to it. And you can just see how Frontier Developments have increased the clarity on the planets, the different colours and hues and the like. And as we're on our descent down through into the planet, you can see all the details have become more richer. You've got more different shades. It's not just beige anymore, you know? You've got different colours of planets and I think it's great. So the Guardian structure is visible and I've used a filter to try and highlight this as well so you can see what the structures like on the surface. Quite laid out, quite spread out, much different to what we've seen the structures like in the past. Lots of obelisks coming up from the ground and we will address all those in a different video. But I just want to get an idea of what it looks like, where you got to go to go and find it, and what it looks like from above. Now we'll take the ship down a little bit lower and get a better look at some of these structures. Now it's going to be have all these artifacts and urns and power cells and flasks and caskets are all going to be littered around the site. And you can see lots of arches, the obelisks, power cores, things you can shoot to release guardian power cells. It really is quite a nice eerie place to be. But as we'll see in a future video, there are Guardian Sentinels, a bit like what the Thargoid Sentinels are, but these are a bit more hostile. They will shoot you. So make sure you've got a bit of cargo capacity in the ship that you come down to. Guardian technology, unlike Thargoid technology, is not going to corrode your cargo bay. So make sure you've got a bit of cargo space. Also, there's going to be Guardian materials to pick up as well. And with the increased material capacity within the Beyond game, you can pick up a lot more. So make sure you go hunting for that Guardian tech. Generally, it's quite a dark place to be. So using this light filter does pick up an awful lot of the detail. Now, in a future video, I'm gonna go through how we activate the base and reveal its secrets. I wanted to get this one out there just so we could all basically see what we're dealing with. 
Lots of symbols on the floor as well. And there are also scannable objects and scannable sections like what we see in some of the other Guardian bases. So it's worthwhile getting out in that SRV and scanning all of those as well and getting that additional data. And of course, data has been increased within the, with the Beyond release as well. So I've been Ricardo. This is a quick look at the Guardian site. Future videos coming more in depth.